be sure to check out my Patreon for weekly exclusive interviews, extra content on VV and Omi, and building generational wealth, as well as money management tips from experienced whales. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video, man. In this one, we are going to be going over some of the most valuable comics on VV. Some are going to be affordable grails. Others are going to be um, not so affordable. So, yeah, I mean, it, they, they go for different prices right now. There is, of course, some speculation behind some of these. Some of these are clearly worth a lot in the real world. Some of these, like the first one, in, in, a, in my opinion... This, this seems kind of weird. I'm not educated on the um, comic space, so I am not the one qualified to be going in depth and, and giving crazy details, but I'm pretty sure this, only one page of this sold for a crazy amount of money. And I don't know the story behind that, why this one page was so special. So are the books now all worth a crazy amount of, of, of money now because one page sold for that? Or was somebody attached to that particular page for a reason? Was that only a one-off thing? And and does does it just take somebody just buying a single page for that? Because if you if if you want to label this as three point four million dollars a page now because of somebody buying one page for it, I mean this 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 comic book would be worth over like thirty million dollars or something like that. So yeah, I I don't understand how value is considered when it comes down to comic books. I just know how to research what what things are worth right now currently. So um. This is something newer that happened. It, it happened earlier this year. Um, this comic book page was purchased for $3.4 million. And this is um, Amazing Spider-Man 252. So th this was this was interesting. Uh, everybody went crazy on VV. These are actually on VV. And they're, they're worth an insane amount. I think a common, the lowest you can get a common for is like $3,000. So that tells you how crazy people went over this. But yeah, before we jump too deep into it, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications so you stay updated. And yeah, let's jump into it. These are going to be the 10, um, some of the 10 best comic books that's on VV right now. And this is coming from somebody. It's it's very, very easy to make money if you just do a simple research, man. It's very easy to make, make a little bit of money on VV if you just do a little bit of research. I'm not a comic guy. I've never been into a comic guy. But you can find out how much stuff is selling for, what's the most popular things, how much this stuff costs. It's very easy to just Google this stuff. So um, yeah, this is, this is Amazing Spider-Man 252. Um, and yeah, it, 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 this one page sold for 3.4 million. So obviously I, I like you would have to do more research into why, why this is valuable and, and things like that. But yeah, th th this is just an odd thing that happened. So yeah, I don't know the full story behind that, but this is currently probably the craziest thing on VV right now. Um, I don't know if that sets the standard, if that was enough to set the standard or if somebody just went nuts one time, but yeah, I mean that, that, that. That's crazy. It's crazy valuable on VV right now as well. So, but next, currently released on VV, we have um, Marvel Comics One. Um, this this is this is definitely a grill. This is this is one that I actually hold quite a few of these. Um, so yeah, the, a rare copy of Marvel Comics Number One sold for two point four million dollars. This is the first Marvel comic, I believe. I believe that this is where it all started for um for Marvel. Um, Marvel Comics don't need Superman to set super sales records, apparently. Um, an, anom an anonymous um, collector bought a rare publisher annotated copy of Marvel Comics number one for a whopping $2.4 million from Comic Connect last, late last week, um, reports the New York Times. The hammer price easily shattered the previous record for the comic that planted the first seed for the Marvel Cinematic Universe more than 80 years ago. So it's it's like some crazy history. It's some crazy history behind this. And there's actually like a video. Oh, this is a little short video. Let's actually check this out. I want to check out the video. I think that this is the comic book owner. Let's see what he has to say about the um, comic book and his purchase. This is Rizzolo, COO of ComicConnect.com. Thank you so much for looking at our event auction. We've got an incredible array of comic books, including this, one of the most important comic books in the history of comic books. Marvel Comics number one, CGC graded 9.2. This is the pay copy, historically significant. And we wanna know what's crazy, 9.2? That's a 9.2 that sold for 2.4 million. And I think that it, the highest it goes is like a 9.8. I don't think there's tens, but there, there's like a 9.8 is like the, as high as it goes. So if the 9.2 sold for 2.4 million, what the heck would a 9.8 sell for? It, it's crazy to think about. Significant in that it was the copy that they kept in the files in Timely, which later becomes Marvel, Lloyd Jaquette, the publisher, used this book to record all the prices he had to pay to the different artists and creators 
of the book, hence the name, The Pay Copy. Uh, what makes this even more important, it's got a gorgeous Frank R. Paul cover. The condition of this book, while it's graded a 9.2, uh, comparatively speaking, I think it might be either the nicest or one of the nicest copies in existence. It is just head and shoulders above the rest. It is gorgeous, just a knockout. And what I love about this book is in terms of its historical importance as well, you have the first appearance of Submariner, the first Marvel hero. This is a very important thing because Subby is going to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and popularity, demand, interest. This is why it's important to actually watch the influencers that cover comic books and, and really learn the history behind a lot of these things. Because even though I take the lazy approach, I look at how much stuff is worth, I look at how much interest is there, how often things are selling. Like I look at straight money related things because I'm only in, in like in these in, in NFTs for, for profit. Like that that is why I invested in this. I came from the crypto side of things. I'm here to turn a profit. Um so I, I really don't have an interest in in doing a deep dive and really learning everything that I, I that everyone should probably know about comics. But yeah, I mean, it just comes down to your strategy. Like if if, if your strategy is to go for the, the grails, the biggest grails that's worth a ton of money, I mean, you don't really have to dig too deep. It's the, the grails is something that everyone talks about. So it's something that you, you'll pick up on. You'll pick up on enough to make some money with it. Like you don't have to be an expert, but it is good for those who are interested. These It's a lot of creators who, who do know a lot of what they're talking about, about these topics. But Moving on here, we have Fantastic Four number one. Uh, Fa Fantastic Four number one, its record so sale was $1.5 million. Now, this this is another big grill, and this is a 9.2 as well. Imagine if that was a 9.8, what that would be going for. So, um, yeah, this is the Fantastic Four, uh, Fantastic Four number one. This this sold for an, a, cra a crazy amount of money also. Um, very, very, very good one right there. Um, next, we have Amazing Spider-Man 1. The record sale for this one is $1.4 um 1.45 million dollars um th that that's insane like amazing spider-man number one so we th these are currently some of the ones that we already have on we have these on vb we're able to just go and grab these we're able to go and purchase these right now for crazy prices i don't even think that this is a hundred dollars right now and and that's crazy like and i was buying these i bought them when they were lower i bought them when it went up to a hundred dollars it's like these these could easily go up to a thousand dollars in my opinion but then again like i said i'm not a comic book expert but i believe that these could go up to a thousand dollars um easily the commons and that's just talking about the commons um anyone who knows my investment style and strategy i play around the floors i don't have no interest in grabbing a bunch of secret rares and things like that that's hard product to move like the the liquidity the liquidity factor matters to me now obviously if you get a secret rare i'm not just giving that up or anything um, and, and I'm willing to wait for it to sell, but you can just move, you can move, some, you can move floors faster than you can move in very, very important and significant pieces. So, um, yeah, that, that's just my, um, that's just my approach. That, that's my approach to it personally. Um, next we have, um, Fantastic Four, um, number five, Four and Fantastic Four, number five. So this one, I could not find the exact record sale. I think it was around like. 180k or something like that but as you can see you can make the offer you can make offers for a 9.4 for 207,000 or more um 207,000 for the 9.2 175,000 right here so yeah you can kind of see where these is going for these is the ones that you can go and buy right now you can try to uh put in offers for this this is a 8.5 8.5 is 79,000 dollars so you can kind of see what the demand for these things are what people actually want when it comes down to these different, um, these different, these different books here, uh, these, so yeah, as you can see, 34, 6.0, 6.0 is, is same, was, was same kind of trash to me, but that's still going for $34,000. Um, it's like crazy. It's very crazy what these things will go for. Um, a 5.5. Let's see. What is this? I don't even know what this is. This is 25,000. But yeah, so yeah, this is Fantastic Four or Five. So, so these are the top or the upper echelon of of the um, ones that's on VV right now. This is the upper echelon grails. Um, here's some. Um, here's another. Here's, a, here's an uprising grail. So an uprising grail. Um, I don't know why this is on the rise. People say that it's hot right now. People say this is going to continue to get hot. And I can imagine when they release the first Miles Morales movie, like a live action movie, like it's going to be insane. So. Yeah, the Ultimate Fallout 4, the first appearance of Miles Morales. I think that this is um 
this is one that everyone's going crazy about and how uh and how crazy that this is going to continue to be um i think the record sale for this was around 25 to thirty thousand dollars, i believe if i'm not mistaken um as you can see that like right now it's on a watch list of 16 people it's going for like three thousand dollars right now 9.8 now 9.8 is going for three thousand somebody's selling this for 1.3 <clears throat> um 1.4 so i mean you got this going to decent prices it's, it's, this is i guess a speculative one i think that a lot of um comic people are really believe in this in this comic book though so yeah that's one of that's that's one of the um <clears throat> that's one of the um up upcoming grails then when it comes down to comic books i try to focus more so on i guess popularity so what is something that people know so even if you're not into comic books, when you hop on VV, you're going to see a bunch of comic books. And what are you going to be willing to invest in? If you can afford it, you're going to be you're going to want to invest in something recognizable, something that you actually know what it is. Daredevil is a very popular brand. He's a very popular name. Um, he might not be on the level of some of these other ones, which is why the, the price is, is reflective of that. But as you can see here, check this out. Um, one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. This is on eBay for one hundred twenty five thousand. Um, eleven eleven point six thousand. Um, this is a 5.5 for 11.6. 1.8 is $3,000. A 1.8 is $3,000, man. Um, $5,000 for this one. 3.9 for this one. Um, $3.4,000 for that one. Like, so as you can see, the, the like Daredevil is not, it's not, not something, it's not a weak comic, man. And this, this is affordable on VV right now. I'm pretty sure this is not over a hundred dollars right now. So it's a lot of grails and, and a lot of, um, so you can see the primary grails that we have on VV. Then we have grails that's right under those grails and basically the way that i look at it the way i look at it very very simply grails are going to be out of reach those are going to be the first things out of reach that's going to be the first things that everyone buys up so if you can't get a primary grail what are you going to go for a secondary grail what's the secondary grail that's where you hit these like the, these are the secondary grails these are going to be the next affordable things on vv because the the marvel comics number ones and stuff like that you're not going to be able to afford those those are going to be too far out of reach um, and that leads me to another one here. The first appearance of Deadpool. This is one of my favorites. Um, first appearance of Deadpool here. Um, <clears throat> this one is going for 3.3K. And that's a 9.8, 3.6K. Um, this one is 24, 24.9, 24.9K, 24 2.5K, um, $500. So as you can see, th this one right here, and this is another super, super popular hero. This is a super, or is he a hero? Yeah, he's a hero. Um, this is another super popular one. Um, listen, first appearance of Deadpool. I think Deadpool is one of the most noticeable heroes in our in our um, in our current time right now. So, even if this comic book is slept on, I believe that it's going to be something that has that people are interested in moving forward. I think that this is a comic that's that's going to have a nice future. I think that this is a brand. Deadpool is a brand that's going to have a great future, which is probably going to boost the value of the um, of the comic book as well. So. Yeah, got to have to throw that one on here. Um, next, we have the first appearance of Loki. First appearance of Loki, uh, 57.5K, 29.9K, 14.5K, 1.2K. So as you can see, we have a bunch of... Um, th this is selling for, for good prices. Like the, well, They're being listed for good prices. I don't know if any of these have actually sold, but they're being listed for good prices. So as you can see, people are finding these things valuable. So... Um, and it's the first appearance of Loki. Loki just has had a new show. Loki has a new show that that released on Disney Plus. So they they seem to be interested in doing more with this character. So I'm looking forward to seeing where Loki goes. I, I'm holding a few of these just to you know just to see just to see what happens. I'll be holding these. Um, and last but not least, we have Avengers Eight. This is something that's speculative around the VV community. People are saying that Con, Con Kang is going to be the next um. He's going to be Thanos times ten. He's going to be the next um super villain in the um MCU. Like they're saying that he's he's really going to be like the next big uh person that the Avengers have to fight. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. If um if he's really going to be a super like a super threat like that, the nine point two went for thirteen point five thousand. This was last sold on six twenty eighteen. So yeah, I guess they're gonna start including him in the MCU. I guess there was rumors that this guy was gonna be coming up as the next big villain. Um, and if he is the next big villain, I heard that he has like these crazy powers that makes him like the biggest threat the MCU has ever seen. So that's why um, that's why I, I would I would say that he's a he's a good one. Um, 
you granted i i listen uh, i listen heavily to a lot of the people in the community who knows way more than me this is just some of the stuff that i've been able to pick up from people way smarter than me like i said all all i do is i look at numbers i look at numbers i look at what's selling and things like that but then i also get a little bit of information from people who actually know the information who actually study this who actually understand what's going on so it's like a mixture of research. You can look at numbers, you can get a basic understanding from numbers, and then you can really understand why certain things stand out once you talk to people a lot more wiser than yourself. So that's something that I would definitely recommend. But that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. List some comments down below that you think I may have missed that could be more valuable than some of these on this list or um, uh, of equal value to some of these on this list. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all in the next one, man. Peace out, Joe.